Now the process to jailbreak your Fire Stick, which in reality is just side loading, is very easy to do, it takes a couple of minutes, and it's something that anybody can do just by following this video. Now the entire process can be broken down into three steps. Step one is to enable an option on your Fire Stick, which is really the entire unlocking piece. And this option will allow you to install applications from third party sources. The second step is to install a custom application store and this application store will have all of your favorite applications, whether you're interested in movies, TV shows, live TV, sports, all of that will be included. And the last step, which is optional, but I do recommend it, is to change a few settings on your device just to ensure that there's no tracking, no monitoring, and most importantly, no data logging. Now, the very first thing we're going to do on our device is just head over to the search icon where it says find. Let's click on that. Go down into where it says search, click on that again. And I'm now going to type in the word downloader. Here we are, I can now click on that. Click on that again, and click on that one more time to begin the installation. And this application is a great application. It's a built-in browser. It allows you to download applications from other sources and install them. And let's click on got it. Now, before we open this application, we need to now enable that change. So if I now press the home key, let's now go to the right and where we have the settings cogwheel, let's click on that. I'm now going to click on MyFi TV. Let's click on that again. Now here you want to click on developer options. Now, if you have a brand new Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube and you don't see this developer options menu, what you want to do is click on about and here where you see your device type, either a Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube, just press the select button here seven times. So one, two, three, four, and you can see on mine, it says I'm already a developer. On your device, if it's the first time you've done this, when you get to the seventh click, you will get the message that you're now a developer, which means you can now press back and you will then see the developer options. So you can now click on this and where it says install unknown apps. Now, if you have a slightly older Fire Stick, you may just see an option here, which is set to off. You want to change the option to on, which again means that you can now install applications from third party or unknown sources. But as this is a newer device, I need to click on this first and we can now see my downloader applications in here. I can now click on that. We can see that now it changes to on and this now means that I can now use downloader to download and install any application that I like. And that's pretty much it in terms of unlocking or jailbreaking your device. So now that we've made that change, I can now press the home key and let's now open up downloader for the first time. Let's click on that. I can now click on allow, click on okay, now where we have the, the box here where you can type something in, if I click in that, this is where you now type in an address like google.com or something else, but you can also type in codes which are like short codes to get to certain pages. Now I've created a custom short code which will allow you to get to the page on my website which will have the direct link to this custom application store. And the code for that is just 816-729. Let's type that in, 729, and click on go. And this is the page that I'll always keep up to date. So even if there's a change in the process, or maybe a new update comes out, as long as you have this short code, you'll always get to the latest version of this page. I can now scroll down, and we can confirm this is the uh, jailbreak guide. We have some step-by-step -step instructions, how to enable those options. And underneath all of that, we should have the special link to the custom application store. Now, this is a dynamic link. So even if you're watching this video in the year 2024 or maybe December, 2023, whenever you watch this video, this link is always automatically updated to get the latest version of this custom app store. So I can now click on this. You then want to scroll down and you're looking for this green download button and this will automatically download the latest version of that store directly onto your device. Let's click on that. Now, if you get any kind of errors when you're downloading this file, like maybe it can't connect or it can't find the file, 
It could be that your ISP, your internet service provider is actually blocking connections to this website. Now, if you have that problem, an easy fix for that is, is to use a VPN. And I will show you at the end of this video, the VPN that I personally recommend. Okay, that's nearly done. I can now click on install. I can now click on done. And let's now press the home key. Now, before we open up this custom application store, we have to one more time, give it permission just so we can install applications through it. So once again, as we did before, we go over to settings, go down into MyFi TV, go to developer options, where it says install unknown apps. Let's click on that. We can now see the second application, which by default is set to off. If I click on that now, that again changes to on. So this again means that we can now download applications through this custom application store and then install them. So once you've confirmed that, let's now press the home key. I can now go to my app library, which is this last icon here. Let's click on that. Now the latest application that you install will always be at the bottom. So it's this one here, even though we can't see the icon, this is definitely the new custom application store. So let's open that up. Now, the great thing with this custom application store is you don't need to enter in any kind of codes or any kind of addresses. There's a section at the bottom which says trending codes. So this will basically show you the most popular codes with this application. And those popular codes will definitely have the applications that you're interested in. So let's click on that now. Now we can see there's a couple of different stores in here. Now this one, the first one is a good one. This one is a good one. Basically anything in the top five, you can definitely get your favorite applications. And as you can appreciate, there are different streaming laws around the world. So what may be legal in some countries is not allowed in other countries. So I'm not gonna show you those kind of applications, but if I click on the first one, we can see this is what the applications look like. I'm not gonna scroll further down, but trust me when I say any kind of application that you're looking for, you'll be able to find it in these stores. Let's just say for a quick test, I'm interested in uh, this internet fiber speed test. I can click on that, give that a second, and we can see that's now added to downloads. So you have to click on that twice. Once you see the tick box, I can now press the back button, back again. And if I now go to downloads, I should then see that application being downloaded on my device. So when you go through the list, find the applications that you're interested in, click on them and this will then begin the download process. Now that the download is completed, I can now click on the green icon. This tells me do you want to install this, click on install. And that's how easy it is to side load applications onto your Amazon device. You can do it yourself, it takes a couple of minutes, just go through those application stores, find the applications that you're interested in, one click, download, and you're pretty much good to go. And let me now show you some of those settings that you may want to change just to minimize any kind of data logging. Go over to settings, go over to preferences, click on that, click on the privacy settings, and we can see by default, your device usage data is being collected. So I'm gonna select that and say, turn off. Again, app usage data is being collected I'm gonna click on that and select turn off. I'm not interested in any interest-based adverts. I'm gonna click on that. Also select turn off, press back, go to data monitoring, double check, make sure that is set to off, press back. Now if you go to featured content, this is personal preference, but if you don't want those large video ads to play on the home screen, as they really do slow down your device, I'd like to turn both these off as well press back. And again, this will just ensure that Amazon can't monitor your device, monitor your applications, and it will also help out with performance. And just before you go, guys, I do recommend that if you are going to be using certain applications to access certain content, it is recommended to use a VPN. IP Vanish are now doing a crazy promotion. You can get $50 off the yearly plan, which works out as just over $3 a month, giving you total protection at maximum speed, for unlimited devices. So doesn't matter if you have five Fire Sticks or 10 Android TVs, all devices covered, even your laptops, your tablets, Windows PCs, everything will be covered with a single license. You can then change your IP address. You can hide what you're doing. So your ISP can't track you. They can't monitor you. 
to get that, I think this offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. You can also go for the two year plan, which works out as just under $3 a month. So it does help support the channel. So many thanks if you want to do that. Do have a look in the video description and the pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. It is only for the next two weeks. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.